Hey everyone, Derek J here, and it is Valentine's Day 2015. Ever since I was born, my Aunt Ricky is my Valentine, and she's 96 this year, so I'm going to call her and wish her a happy Valentine's Day. She says that she loves this holiday even more than Christmas because it's the holiday of love. I received this flower today while I was working at the store from a friend of mine named Michelle Seven. She's known as Bitcoin Bell on Twitter. And uh, I think it's lovely. It smells wonderful. And it was a pleasure to receive. Now, I called Aunt Ricky earlier and she didn't answer. So I can only imagine. Hello, Aunt Ricky. It's Derek. Hi, Aunt Ricky. It's, it's Derek. I'm great. How are you? Fine, fine, fine. I'm thinking of you and I got your lovely card. Excellent. I'm so glad you got it. And did you get my bear? <laughs> I love your bear because I had to cheer for him to sue one. Oh, perfect. Yeah, well, I'm thrilled. I'm so glad I got to the phone to answer you. I'm glad too. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, good. I'm glad. Yes, I, I told a friend just the other day, I said, if you're upright, you're all right. <laughs> Isn't that true? That's what, and I was around when you were born. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I was in Georgia. Yes, that's right. And, uh, well, I think of you, especially on Valentine's Day. I know that we're always each other's Valentine. So I want to uh, wish you a happy Valentine's Day and enjoy the chocolates, the card, and the bear. Oh, I will. And you're wonderful. And I thank you for calling me. Well, okay? I love you. And uh, we really had some good times in New York. Remember when you went to the uh, Empire State Building? Oh, yes. We saw the view from all the way up at the top. And I, I remember you, you encouraged me to use the bathroom up there as well. <laughs> it was the highest one. <laughs> In the world. And we got near uh, the square. Uh, uh, he, he said, you said, you know, Rick, Ricky, you could call that the round table, not the square no. table. Right, not Madison Square Garden. It should be Madison Round Garden. It's round. I still feel that way. Yes. Yes, I think of it every time I go there to New York. I think of you and the wonderful trip we had there, how we got a, a taxi cab uh, doll, and, and I dropped it on the tracks. They had to stop everything <laughs> just to go get it. Uh, it was in it. Well, we had such a great time. <laughs> yes, well, thank you for all of your uh, help in, in my early adventures through uh, New York, and we went to Washington, D.C. together. Oh, we saw the, where Daddy flew the spad. We, uh, you know, your grandfather. Oh, yes, yes, we saw it all. Through the airplane. Yes. Well, thank you, Aunt Ricky. You're very special to me. So, happy Valentine's Day. Have a great rest of the night, and I'll be thinking of you. Oh, well, thank you. And, um, we, you remember the things I do, like Madison Square Garden and Madison Round Garden. <laughs> yes, of course. I love those memories. They are uh, something I will cherish forever. Yes, Aunt Ricky. Well, I love you and thank you for everything. 
everything you've done. You, you keep on tr- uh, live, uh, doing the things you want to do, okay? I will always do the things I want to do. <laughs> Thank you for leading by example. Uh, I love you too, Aunt Ricky. Good night. Uh, good night. Thank you for calling. It's my pleasure. And thank you for waiting till I could answer. Oh, I'm happy to happy to call and and happy to speak with you. Okay, dokie. Love you, Aunt Ricky. Uh, and, and when we had supper at the, you know, you know uh, we had dinner at at and Hey Young took took a. Uh, Oh. And you would, it, uh, that was what we did. We had a lot of fun. I, I didn't hold that against Hey Young. I went to a, a, a shower for Amanda or. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, it was uh it was a shower for Amanda and my two little sisters who are Hey Young's girls. Uh they have the rabbits and they were thrilled to meet you. Well, they were thrilled to meet you. They had all they had heard so much about you, Aunt Ricky, and they were so happy to meet you. They know that uh they've heard about you from me. Thank you, Aunt Ricky. I love you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm having a wonderful time sitting here now. Your call made the difference, okay? Good. Well, thank you. I'm so glad, and happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> you are my Valentine, remember? <laughs> yes. You're always mine. Oh, okie dokie. All right. And I'll see you again soon, I hope. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you. Thank you for calling. And you are my Valentine. <laughs> Thank you okay. for everything. And Bye-bye. happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, I'm glad it worked out. She is 96 years old. And I'm 25, just as a frame of reference here. And... Uh, you know, she's very special to me. She just moved into an old folks community this year, and that was a difficult transition because she's so fiercely independent and didn't want to um, give up that independence. But I think it's been a, a nice transition. She's around other people. She's a lot more social, and she doesn't have to depend on herself to cook meals. Thankfully, she can um, have delicious, nutritious meals prepared for her, and she can eat them in the company of others. So I know uh, that she's not alone this Valentine's Day, and that makes me happy. I hope you call your grandmother (laughs) if she's still around. It's important to keep those old folks in our lives, I think. Um, You know, Aunt Ricky was very special and important to me in my upbringing, and uh, it's that that capacity to love. Uh, You know, young children... Um, you know, learn that early on. So it's important. (laughs) And here I am crying. Well, I'll just end this now. Happy Valentine's Day.